Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. I think we've, we've done at least one of these before. And it comes from, I think, the same person who had these. Uh, let's see if we can make this one turn up a treat. This will be a challenging one. These are challenging. Okay, let's see what this is. It is a fragment of a photo. It looks like a family photo. It looks like a family gone awry. Um, a breakup or something. It looks looks like that, you know someone doesn't normally cut up a photo, a family photo if, if everything's going fine. Um, but you know it just happens unfortunately. My brother's been going through divorce I don't know where he, what stage he's at I don't talk to him because he's such an asshole he is an asshole and I think that's why his relationship has failed on him because his wife was sick to hell of his bossiness and asshole attitude that he inherited from my dad and then my dad inherited from my granddad and it's just been passed down and it's just such a fucking stupid dumbass family characteristic that I don't talk to dad or my brother, they're just fuckwits. I don't have time for their stupidity. Yeah, that's a good way to deal with an asshole is to give them silence and distance. Just make them think about what they're doing. You know, that that it's really hurting people. You know, that it shouldn't be. Family shouldn't be about dealing with asshole behaviour. It shouldn't be like that. But it is. Unfortunately it's become that way. In a lot of families, uh, you know, this is a bit needs a bit more extra length, so I'm going to have to use this as a master copy. But yeah, it's really silly how my dad and my brother are just such dickheads, so fucking nasty and stupid, you know, fucking dumb. But you know, what can you do? You know, you you can't. I don't know where it comes from. Why? Where this? It's like a gene. It's like an asshole gene. That, that they're passing it down to each generation. They just, it's just assholes, you know, they're just fucking assholes. I don't like talking to assholes. If they want to talk asshole, they can just go blow it out their fucking ass in their fucking, in their own time and place. Don't fucking get me involved. I don't want to get, fucking deal with that shit. So I don't talk to them. I give them the fucking silence and distance treatment. They don't like my art they don't like what I do on the photocopier that's their fucking problem you know I really I have no time for their bullshit I should have used the photo mode um, come to think of it uh, I was thinking I just forgot about that But yeah, they're just assholes, you know, they don't care that you that they're hurting your feelings. Now that's come up looking quite interesting. Uh, I do think I might move that back a bit. Um, but yeah, they don't seem to have any, they're really, my dad and my brother are just so mean-spirited. You know, they just have such a mean attitude problem you know they've got a major attitude problem and they don't care if they hurt your feelings they don't care they just want to hurt you they just dad likes to tease and bully really well he does it almost as well as the bitches that I had to deal with at, at school so I don't I don't give him any fucking rope anymore I just fucking let him just sit and mope and he's got heart problems and I don't care. He can take it to his fucking grave, the bitch. He doesn't want to apologise to me 
He's going to fucking take it to his grave. I don't care. I don't care if he dies a bitter old fart. My dad. I don't care. He can die. I don't care if he dies. He just is such an asshole. He just fucks me up. Fucks with my head. So I want to fuck with him and just fucking let him just wallow in his own fucktardery. And my brother, he's got another health problem himself. He's got diabetes, type 2. So I don't know what's happening there. You know, there's some health, nasty little health problems, but these health problems are not going to uh, prompt me to, to uh, talk to them. They're not going to get my attention. doesn't matter if Dad's got a heart problem, my brother's got diabetes. I don't care. They can go fuck themselves. So that, that's obviously something's happened with this family here, um, whoever they are and whatever they, wherever they've been and their lives have been shattered and photographs have been cut up, which really is not a very good sign. Not a nice um, thing to happen. When you get when you hate each other so much that you want to cut up family photos, I found these on the nature strip. Um, but you know, whoever cut these up, you know, they must have been really miserable in their relationship. Um, and as I said, my brother's marriage is on the rocks so he's actually been kicked out of course he's not got a house he has to live with mum now uh, so no he doesn't have his own place to live he's not got a job either so he's bloody languishing there but I'm not going to fucking show him any empathy he's just a dick deserves all he gets so yeah So let's see if this photo looks any good, even though it's a family photo that's been clipped. And it's come up looking quite interesting. I think we can now call this demo quits.